This is the Oklahoma Sports Podcast presented by OklahomaSports.net. Stay tuned for interviews and information about high school, college, and professional sports around the state of Oklahoma. Now here's your host, Joey McWilliams. Thanks again for stopping by the Oklahoma Sports Podcast. Our guest today is Cody White, the head coach of the UCO softball team, the number two Broncos, as they just continue to roll through the season. 29-3, and three, split at Fort Hayes State on Tuesday in an afternoon in which uh, a tough loss, Coach, that the second game of a doubleheader, and losses have just not been a part of your schedule very much this season. Right, it was a tough loss, uh... We ended up 3-1 uh, and one on the weekend, so overall it was a pretty good weekend, but you hate to end it that way and get on the road and uh, kind of have that loss uh, left in you right there. And we just ready to get back on the field and, and kind of bend that a little bit. <laughs> Played up in Nebraska and up in northern Kansas as part of four games in a two-day stretch. Uh, Coach, talk about that kind of thing. When you're on the road like that, of course, obviously you have the, the target on your back there is the number two team in the country right now. And even with three losses on the season, still that's the fewest losses of any Division II program. But uh, that's a tough road swing. It is. You know, we were fortunate enough uh, at the beginning of the year to play a lot of home games that kind of got our feet on the ground. And uh, this last month we've really been on the road, so it's taken a toll on us. But uh, – uh, we've got some tough kids uh, that have been very resilient, and I uh, believe that we're 9-2 and two now on the road in this last month, uh, so we're pretty proud of that, just to, just to stay tough and, and continue to keep keep striving for every, every win that we can get, but uh, it's tough, and we're ready to get back home, but uh, they're doing a pretty good job, and just looking forward to get back home. This is a team that has put together at one point in the season 20 consecutive wins. Coach, mm-hmm. you were a part of that national championship team at UCO back in 2013. And, boy, I, I remember following that. That was quite a ride. I, I know that, that sure, <laughs> I'm sure experiencing it firsthand like you did was, was very special. Is this team similar to that in any way? And it, is it something that you've been building towards since that time? You know, we, we have been building towards that. We learned a lot that year with the type of players that we had. Uh, that was just an absolute uh, special year. We, we used the word kind of magical at that point. Uh, you know, I, I still don't believe that year in 2013 <laughs> that we had the most uh, talented team, but we had a very tough and resilient team. And so uh, during the fall, we really modeled uh, kind of the teaching around that mental aspect of the game and trying to get that grit and toughness about them uh, from what we saw with so successful from that 2013 year. Uh, so, I, you know, I believe that there's a lot of similarities with that 2013 team and this team right now, and um, hopefully we can just kind of use all that and, and take it to the next level. Speaking now with Cody White from Central, the Broncos 29-3 and on the season so far, number two in the country, and that, of course, actually into the latest NFCA softball poll as you're trailing just West Florida. Coach, in your sixth season now, you've compiled a record of 233 and 93. That's a very impressive run, no matter what sport you're talking about. That's averaging nearly 40 wins per season, and we're not through this one yet. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we, we still got ways to go on this one, so we've just got to keep keep moving forward. But uh, we've had a lot of good players come through this program, uh, a lot of memorable players that have left a legacy. So we're very proud of who, who's been a Bronco and who's come through. Well, and you've been able to recruit well, and you're actually able to recruit well even even at home. And I, I want to talk about those bats too. I think it has to start with Joby Heath, no doubt, as she's averaging four nineteen on the season, uh, and Edmund Product. Coach, is it just me, or does it feel like that she's been there for six, seven, eight years? <laughs> it does, but, uh, you know, we, we would love to have her there even longer. We hate that she's a senior this year, but she is definitely doing an amazing job this year. Uh, also, Jones and, and Dobson, you guys are among the, the top in, in uh, the MIAA. You have three of the top nine batting averages in within the conference statistics alone. How are you hitting the ball so well? You know, I think it's our mental approach. Uh, I know we've got some talent, um, and we've just got to be able to find that next level, things that others don't do. Uh, with where we're playing in the MIAA, everybody's got the talent. In our region, it's a strong region. Everybody has the talent. And what I've challenged our hitters to do and pitchers as well is just to find what makes you different, make changes and step in the box with an extreme amount of confidence, knowing that, that you can be successful every single time. And so when we get in the box and, and we're confident, you know, 
know, like you said, Joe B and Lexi and Carly, uh, they're, they're very good at that. They're very mature hitters, and when they get in the box, they expect to get a hit, and I think that goes a long way. Coach, talk about your pitching staff as well. Uh, and no doubt that that has to be key to making a run like this is being able to, you know, give your give yourself that opportunity to win uh, day in and day out. Talk about who you send into the circle. Well, you know, we've got uh, pretty much a whole new uh, pitching staff um, other than Lauren Gibson. Lauren Gibson is the one that was with us uh, the last few years, so she, she kind of knows what we expect, and, and she's been a good leader for us. But we've, we've really revamped our, our whole pitching philosophy and how we do things, and uh, we've got uh, two that have really stood out for sure. Uh, freshman Bailey McKittrick has just been lights out for us. Uh, she's probably one of the most uh, mentally composed pitchers that I've seen. Uh, when she steps in a circle, uh, we want the ball in her her hands a lot um, she's gotten herself out of tough situations uh that you know typical freshmen really they they do not do and, and she's really been mature in the circle then we've got our uh, lefty sydney mcleod who uh, came from nebraska and she's she's battled through a lot of things but she's really come out on top every single time she's seen a lot of, uh, of adversity uh, but the resiliency with her has been amazing to me and that's what's really kept her being successful like she is and you're consistently having players of the week within conference play as well. McKittrick, mm-hmm. one of those. And I think it does you know, warrant mention also, you, we talked about recruiting close to home. She's a product of more. And you've been able to you know, get, get the folks to see your program for what it is and bring them into the fold. Right, it's you know the softball's so good around uh, around the state of Oklahoma that uh, we we can usually put a team together that's going to be very competitive with <laughs> a bunch of Oklahoma kids. So uh, with Bailey being from Moore, she uh, she's been very good for us. Just you know coming in and, and doing amazing things as a freshman. Coach, I hope to get to visit with you again before the season is over with. But uh, even so, you know, it, it warrants mention the seniors on this team: Casty Webb, Joby uh-huh. Heath, Carly Jones, Bailey Thompson. Seniors that have seen a lot and and are are producing well for you. Yeah, the seniors have been really key for us. Uh, this is really a first first year where we've had a group that's been with me for four straight years and uh you know Hallie Randolph is another one that's a, a junior but she redshirted and, and so she's been with us for four years and kind of knows what our standards are and expectations are but these these seniors had a kind of a vision of what they wanted and what type of team that they wanted to play for and what type of team could be successful and they've done a really good job carrying out that vision and, and uh i think that leadership has been huge for our younger players and uh, whatever we end up with, that legacy is going to be left where it's really setting the culture for our program. Coach, your team 14-0 and at home, but you're heading on the road on Saturday. And this is winding up to be uh, looking like a very big doubleheader in Tahlequah on Saturday, taking on Northeastern State. Obviously a rivalry matchup there, but teams that are at the top of the MIAA standings, this uh, this series could have some repercussions later on. Absolutely. This is going to be a big series for us. Uh, Clay uh, Davis does a great job with his team, brings in some great players, and and they pitch it well and they swing it well. So we're going to have to be really ready to play against them on the road. Uh, we're definitely ready to get home. So we we we've got a battle on the road, just a few more few more games, and uh, our our players are up to the challenge. Fourteen games remain on the schedule for the Broncos before the MIAA Conference Tournament that will take place in May. Coach Cody White, thank you very much for taking time with us today on the Oklahoma Sports Podcast, and success to you as the season goes along, and we'll continue to follow. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.